with Winter Upon Stones again. I think it's time to go over how to make your very own studded winter tire using a tire and a number 8 metal screw by a half inch long. So the first thing you're going to want to do is figure out what your tread pattern is going to look like. Where your screws are going to be sticking out. Now I've been told that you're not supposed to run any screws down the center. So I'm going to go right of the next lug on each two. I'm going to go on the sides because that when you're cruising down it tends to pop out of the rut and it's not very good. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to go every second lug. Two, skip one, two, skip one. So when you're drilling your holes through, you're going to want to use the smallest drill bit you can. It's just there to make a pilot hole to guide the screw through. So I'm wearing gloves when I'm doing this. Just for safety's sake. You're going to want to drill right in the center of the tire lug. Once you have all your pilot hole drill, you're going to want to start installing your screws. Now you do this from the inside of the tire going out. You want to find your pattern. You'll be able to see the pattern once you drill it all out where your pilot holes are. And you just put them in and screw them. Now you want to be careful if you're using a drill not to strip out the threads because that'll have a tendency to push the screw back into your tire. Not exactly fun. Once you have all your screws installed into your tire, the next step you're going to want to do is line the inside with uh, either an inner tube or some hockey tape. I'm going to use cardboard and duct tape, this is what I have. You just need some to cover the screw head so they don't wear through your inner tube. Once you get all the tape done on the inside, I didn't go with cardboard, I decided just to go with tape and I doubled it up, I think it should be good enough. Uh, it comes time to install on our wonderful bicycle. Once your tires are inflated, I've got about 65 pounds per square inch in the front tire and about the same in the back tire. You want to give it a spin and make sure it doesn't run on anything. If you guys can rub here, you want to go on the back, make sure that it clears the brake, make sure it clears the frame. Now it's time for a test ride. 